What's up? Welcome to the poopy garage. Just trying to get it cleaned up in here. It was pretty disgusting and it's been disgusting for a long time. Don't look too close. It's still, still kind of poopy. But the goal is to clear it all up. I don't know. Maybe get a lift in here. Ceilings are a little short. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit a lift. But it'd be nice to start working on some cars in here. But a uh, big project was just cleaning it. It's not that great, but it's better than what it was. I just haven't had any time to clean it in about a year. So cobwebs, bugs, mice, getting the mouse traps going. And here's a project I want to do. I don't know how feasible it is. This wall is stupid. I hate this wall because I have small doors and trying to get a truck in here or a car in here, it'd be nice to have this extra space to kind of, you know, weasel my way in here. So my thought is maybe take this wall down. It's not load bearing. And if you look really closely, it's got a Chevy logo. No hate, but it ain't my cup of tea. I'm more of a blue oval guy, but that would allow all this extra space to be open. I mean, look at this. My truck usually parks about somewhere in here, and then now I'll have all the way to here. This is a former paint booth, as you can kind of tell. I've always kept my tractor in here, but um, and my ladders, but it's got these kind of jank fluorescent tubes. These are all burnt out except for that one. And then he's got T8, those are T12 bulbs. Yeah, these are all gonna get ripped out. We'll replace them with some of these, uh, some of these guys here, nice LED strips. Super cheap at Menards. But this needs to be all ripped out. All these lights. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these. I could convert them to LED. That might be kind of cool. If I converted all these to LED, it would shine light this way. It could kind of keep the paint booth aesthetic a little bit. And you can see he ran his plumbing for his airlines. It's a really weird setup. I don't, I don't understand it. He ran all hard lines over from this side of the barn. So it's kind of weird. I figured, I don't know. That's not the way I would run it. Oh, well, he must have had a big Mamma Jamma air compressor. I'm only running on a little 120 volt compressor he must have well he there was a 30 amp two pole breaker in here so anyway yeah you can see he's got filters I guess he was filtering air through here I don't know but you can see the framing that's what this wall is made out of and I'm pretty sure based on the cracks in the ceiling because it's drywalled. I think the joists are running this way. Might be wrong. I might have to get up in the attic and look. But if the joists are running that way, I might just, you know what? I might be wrong about that. They might be running this way. Well, if they're running this way, it shouldn't matter either. This is not load bearing. I mean, I can push on it. I mean, you can shake the whole wall. I don't think it's anchored with anything. So if I pop a hole in this wall and take a look, decide if I want to continue with the process. But I think knock this wall down, get rid of all the electrical. He's running GFIs. I think I disabled that circuit. But he's running GFIs on this wall. Yeah, that's not on. And that, what was that? Was that the exhaust fan? 
<laughs> it shot stuff right at me. Yeah, so that's the exhaust fan. That circuit must... I wonder why these don't test. I don't know. Maybe it's... Well, that's... That's 220. You probably just use that as a switch and junction box. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, so that's what we got going on here. Rip this down, turn this into a extra bay and that'll help out with putting all my stuff in here getting it nice and cleaned up maybe get a lift going maybe even put the lift over here for all I care I mean it would just be a pain in the butt trying to get the tractor out of the way and then move a vehicle in here to put it on the lift I don't know how deep this concrete or how thick this concrete is no idea no earthly idea. I guess I could take a drill bit to it and find out, but the problem with doing that is it's not uniform. You don't know if it was uniform the whole way. You could get six inches here and you could get two inches there. And then you put a lift there and it punches right through. You end up dropping one down on you. I mean, I could consider a four post lift, but then you can't do wheels and tires and alignments and that kind of stuff is easy. I don't know, maybe, it, I don't know. So that's my thought, try to knock this wall down. It's pretty flimsy, not a whole lot to it. Knock the wall down, take the electrical out, get more of my barn back, because it's. I feel like this is just such a waste of space. And start rocking out. Start getting some vehicles, some projects going. Get rid of the Chevy. Whoa, that's a weird thing on the screen. Get rid of the Chevy thing. The Chevy wall, whatever you want to call it. I wonder. There's the attic access. I wonder if that's where the joists run. I might have to just pop up there and take a look. I mean, I guess I do have a ladder right here. Well, I'll take you with me. Probably like a thousand mice are gonna fall on my head. Oh, God. Oh, dude. There's a bunch of poop up here. There's lights up here. Ooh, there's mice burrows everywhere. Holy cow. Man, there's a mice paradise up here. Which way are the joists running? They're running this way. I think we're good, dude. With the trusses, whatever you call them. All right, why are you running it in 12 gauge, bro? Bro, it's a waste of money. Run that baby in some 14, sucker. You're only running a couple of uh, lights. You know what I mean? Okay, well, bunch of crap up here, bunch of poop up here. <clears throat> Yuck. Ew, what's this? Ooh, it's those nasty. Oh, the trim pieces. They're all melty. Oh, God. Anyway, well, the joists are running this way. Or the trusses. So, my thought is, you can knock that wall down just fine. And I could probably get disable the electrical going right through there top of the, the sill plate, whatever you want to call it. Oh well, shoot, that ain't too bad, that ain't too hateful. All right, well, leave in the comments, is this a stupid idea? We'll find out. My barn falls down, I guess I have insurance. I'll have to delete this quick so that my insurance company doesn't 
think that uh, it was like a planned thing. Or maybe I, <coughs> maybe I leave it up there so they can see my incompetence. <coughs> All right, uh, Poopy Barn signing out.